3D adipo filling, volumetric suspension and regenerative suspension to eliminate wrinkles and rejuvenate aged skin. Adipo filling permanently corrects facial volumes by injecting a suspension of tiny fragments of fat. To regenerate aged skin and eliminate wrinkles, adipo filling uses a suspension of single living adipose and stromal cells, which is injected into the dermis. The video shows how both of these procedures are carried out. The area from which the lipoaspirate is to be taken is anesthetized, preferably with mepivacaine and epinephrine. Liposuction is carried out by means of a 4 mm caliber cannula. The circular cross section of the cannula enables the greatest volume to be aspirated while minimizing the area of contact with the inner surface of the cannula. Using small caliber cannulas increases friction with the inner surface, damaging the cells of the aspirated adipose tissue. The lipoaspirated lobular fat is placed in a flask equipped with a tap and is washed with Ringer lactate solution until the washing liquid becomes clear. The lobules of fat are clearly visible. Washing eliminates the local anesthetic and epinephrine. The lipoaspirate, together with about a one-third volume of Ringer solution, is placed into beakers. By using a hook, it's possible to detect the rare presence of fibrous strands, which must be reduced. The bell end of the adipopima is now immersed into the lipoaspirate. This economical disposable device has been designed in accordance with the rules of granulometry. The adipopima generates an aspiration vortex which fragments the, the fat lobules in a few seconds without damaging the biological material. The operator tilts the beaker in order to evaluate the granulometry obtained. The lobular lipoaspirate has been transformed into a suspension of tiny fragments of adipose tissue suitable for injection into the subcutaneous tissues in order to enhance their volume. The lipoaspirate fragmented by the aspiration vortex of the adipopima is poured into 20 milliliter Lua Lock syringes equipped with a stopper. The syringes are placed vertically to allow the suspension to decant. The lactate ringer solution is eliminated. The volumetric suspension is now transferred by means of a connecting tube to a 3 milliliter Lua Lock syringe onto which a 21G cannula is fitted. The suspension of tiny fragments of adipose tissue is then injected in order to correct all the volume deficits. The small dimensions of these fragments enables them to be uniformly nested into the subcutaneous tissue without causing alterations of the surface of the skin. Rooting is facilitated by both the small dimensions and the vitality of the biological material grafted. Restoring these volumes rejuvenates the patient's appearance and improves the trophism of the tissues. All regions of the face can be corrected and enhanced in volume.
Once this phase has been completed, the operator fragments the lobules of aspirated fat in the other beaker in order to obtain a suspension of living adipose and stromal cells. The adipose pimmer is activated for a longer time. The aspiration vortex separates the cells without damaging them. The operator checks the granulometry of the suspension by tilting the beaker. A uniform transparent layer of single cells forms on the glass. The cell suspension is poured into two 20 milliliter Luolox syringes. The syringes are then centrifuged at 400 RPM for 4 minutes. A white layer of stromal cells is visible at the bottom. At the top, the thin layer of oil is eliminated. The lactate ringer solution is removed. Care must be taken to keep the stromal cells in the syringe. These cells, which contain the stem cells, are redistributed in the adipocytes by means of two syringes connected by a tube. The two components of the adipose tissue, stromal cells and adipocytes, both of which are living, ensure the volumetric and regenerative success of the technique. Two 1 ml Luolox syringes are filled and fitted with a 25G needle. The operator injects the suspension of single living cells into the dermis of the wrinkles. In order to maximize the regenerative effect of adipofilling, the injection must extend well beyond the margin of the wrinkle. Injection into the dermis has no volumetric effect, but exerts a potent regenerative effect. Together, the adipose and stromal cells exert the most powerful regenerative action known to date. Even large areas of time-worn skin can be rejuvenated by means of the intradermal injection of adipose and stromal cells. A new, efficacious beauty treatment is now available. To access this material you must subscribe to the crpub.org medical video journal. Subscription is free and reserved for medical doctors only.